In this video, I'm going to be upgrading my CR-10S Pro with the all-metal Michael Swiss hot end. But should you be making this upgrade? That really depends on if you want to print other plastics than the PLA. At around 260 degrees Celsius, the Bowden tube actually starts to melt and the fumes are really toxic. There is a lot of information online about the toxicity of the fumes. So if you do plan to print at higher temperatures, you really do need that all-metal hot end, which mitigates the heat transfer to the Bowden tube. Also, when changing out the nozzle, you need to get it up to temperature, which is about 220 degrees Celsius. The wrench that Creality provides is really inadequate, so I, I decided to design myself a handle. So I'll put a link to the handle so you guys can download it if you like. Um, this is actually the brim. Uh, that I printed with it, I decided not to take it off because um, I could just put it as a stand. Uh, just a couple of notes before I forget. I'm trying to get the thermistor and the wiring into that little hole and keep it there while you're trying to screw on the little hole without breaking it. Um, it's kind of like a uh, delicate operation. When you're tightening those screws, uh, just make sure you don't break the uh, wires and the thermistor. I think that upgrading is not going to be too difficult. There are many other videos out there, so I'm not going to be providing too much commentary. I think you can just follow along by watching the video. Um, if you do have any questions though, uh, you can always leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it as uh, soon as possible. Remove the clip. And I'm going to just turn this off and let my 3D printer cool for a while as you can see the filament was actually inside still the Bowden tube okay after the heater block has cooled off I'm gonna remove the assembly actually my heater block is still a little warm There's a small grub screw that can, that's over here on the bottom. And you have a Phillips.
Not sure if you can see it, but it does seem like it is feeding correctly. So, I think I'm done. I'm gonna close up the housing. Uh, you're going to have to re-level the bed after doing this uh, upgrade. Please comment below and let me know which other upgrades I should make on my printer. So guys, that's the end of the video. Please go ahead, like, share, and subscribe.